All right, we're finally ready. And uh, hello down there in Georgia. Uh, can you guys hear me all right? Yes. yes. Okay, great. And I can hear you. All right, uh, so I am Jackie Werner. I am the scholarly communications and research librarian here at PCOM. And uh, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys about RefWorks, which is a really great way to uh, keep your citations uh, all in one place and also do citations on your papers uh, and writing. So basically you can spend a lot less work just trying to get everything uh, in the right order and uh, properly cited. So I heard you guys talking about EndNote before. Have you used uh, other reference managers like EndNote or Zotero? Mendeley. Oh, Mendeley too. All right, uh, RefWorks works a lot like them. Uh, so the way you get a RefWorks account, first thing you wanna do is go to the library homepage, library.pcom.edu, and then go to my accounts and RefWorks down here. All right. Um, if you have never signed into RefWorks before, just click create account down at the bottom. And you wanna sign up with your PCOM email. of RefWorks we're going to look at is the uh, is the main uh, the main site for RefWorks. After this, I'm going to show you guys how to get citations uh, from some different databases. You can grab them directly from there and not actually have to type in anything. And then I'll show you how to use uh, RefWorks with different writing programs like Microsoft Word or Google Docs and get your citations right in there easily. All right. So these are all my uh, citations here. And you can see I have a lot of them. Most of them are in folders that I've made. And up here, we have uh, several things you could do with these citations. So first thing you can do is add a reference. Now there's a way uh, you can drag PDFs directly into RefWorks by clicking Upload Document, and it will attempt to get all the metadata from that so that you could have the citation without even needing to like refine the paper and the database. However, this doesn't always work very well. Uh, you can upload it and then just edit it to make it correct. But if you, can, uh, if you can find the paper again in a database, it's always easier to take it from there. Import references. So import references. This is where you'll be adding references from databases, which I'll show you later. You can also import from uh, Mendeley. And um, uh, this is a direct import from Mendeley. You can also, if you're using something like EndNote or Zotero, you can export all your references and then just import them all into RefWorks. All right, let me go back here. Last thing you could do is just add a reference by hand. And that you do add create new reference. You put what type of reference it is. A lot of the time it's going to be a journal article. And then you just type it in uh, like normal. All right. And then just click save at the top. And then, as you can see, sometimes when you, uh, when you add in stuff, it doesn't quite work properly. Uh, so know that any reference that you have, you can just edit it over here and then change it to, uh, to fix that up. All right, so I'm going to cancel this for now. So, uh, let's say you have some references already. One thing you could do with them, I'm going to select just four of them here, is assign them to a folder. 
And this is really good if you're doing multiple projects, like multiple papers, multiple studies. You could just create a, a folder for each, uh, for each project you're working on, and then you'll have everything in one place. Uh, you could also have subfolders here. For instance, here was a project I was doing, which has 435 references, and then I made subfolders for papers that I was using and not using. I could also add one for red and not red. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways you could keep things, um, you could just keep things organized. You can also add tags to any reference. So if you prefer just tagging it and then searching for that up here, you could use that as well. So here's some references. And what's really useful is create bibliography. There's two ways of doing it, create bibliography and quick cite. So create bibliography is just going to make a bibliography out of whatever you've selected. And QuickSight is going to grab everything in a, a specific folder or everything in search results and make a bibliography out of that. So this is really good if you're looking to just uh, get a quick citation. When you're actually writing a paper, you're probably going to want to use uh, one of the tools that we have within Word or Google Docs to do that. So, and here we have, sorry, we were unable to process your request. <laughs> so that is uh, not properly formatted. I'm going to give that one more try. And create the bibliography. All right, there we go, we actually have it. So, as you can see, it, uh, and these are papers that I took from a database. I didn't have to type them in or anything. And uh, it gave them the bibliography. And up here, you can see it's in AMA format, 10th edition. If I click that, you can use one of the most recent styles and just change to whatever citation style you need. Or not, because the internet doesn't like us today. So um, usually, this does not actually happen. Uh, I've actually only had it say unable to process your request um, right here. So don't worry about this not usually working. But basically what you could do is whatever citation style you're using, uh, if you need a certain style for a paper, for a journal submission, you can search for, there are like thousands of styles and a lot of them are for specific journals. So let me search for osteopath. And there's a and there's a rep, a um, style for a chiropractic and osteopathy, which is a journal. And normally, it would just show those two uh, those two citations in the proper style, and just really easily change them. All right, do you guys have any questions so far? All right, so that's the basics of working uh, within RefWorks. And actually, you can see up here, this thing that's preparing document for reader, that's, uh, I actually uploaded a paper into that. So if you prefer having all your papers uh, along with your citations, you can just put the PDF, uh, either do the uh, upload document, or you could just attach it to an existing citation. So if you like to have your papers uh, online in here, you could just stick them there. However, it does take a while to load, as you can see. All right, so next thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to get references from uh, different databases. So let's go to library.pcom.edu here. And I'm going to start by going to PubMed. And I'll just do a quick search, arthritis. All right, and I'll grab this first paper. It's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so if you want to get an article from PubMed to RefWorks, you want to, up here, it'll say Send To. And you want to click Send To Citation Manager. What that's going to do is create a file. So you just save that somewhere. I'm going to stick it on the desktop so I can find it. 
All right, so once I have that, let me go back to RefWorks and let me import references. So down here we have import from a file. So go to select a file from your computer and let's, I think that's named citations. Yes, you could also actually name the file if you want to keep that straight. So select citations and it, uh, it does find the proper format. It'll be important to this NLM PubMed. If it doesn't find the format, you basically just want to search for it and then tell it that it's RIS format. So let me do that again so I don't have to search for it. All right, import complete. We've saved one document in your library. And here it is. And if you click this, you can see all the information here on the right. Uh, there's a lot more than you're going to actually include in a citation. For instance, it has the abstract and a, a lot of tags here. So this is good not just for citing, but for actually keeping track of what you're doing with these citations. And up here are the tags. You could also uh, edit this and then add tags, say not read yet or uh, possible review. So there's a lot you could do with this. All right. So let me add a folder here. All right, I'm gonna close out PubMed. And here, I'm going to go to Scopus. Uh, we want collections, databases. And go to S for Scopus. Have you guys used Scopus before? All right, so uh, PubMed is really great for, uh, for searching um, purely medical uh, papers. Scopus includes a lot more, uh, includes a lot more different journals in there and not just medicine. Uh, there's, there's more journals than there are in PubMed. So if you're looking for specific topics, if you can't find everything you want in PubMed, then definitely take a look in Scopus. So let me go here. All right, I'm gonna search for arthritis again. I'm gonna close this and search for arthritis again. All right, and there we go. This is exactly what we want. Okay, so what you want to do now is go up here where it says export. And under select your method of export, you could actually send it directly to RefWorks. So let me click export. Uh, you want to tell it to export to the new RefWorks. Just remember it's blue. Don't click the orange. And then it's saved and that's even easier than the way you can do it in PubMed. So pretty much every journal is going to, uh, and every database is gonna let you use one of these methods uh, to get it to RefWorks. If you're doing something like a website or a book, if you can find a book in a database, it's easy. Websites, there's a tool that lets you grab data from them, but again, it's not always accurate. So just kind of uh, know what your citation style needs and then make sure that information is correct uh, when you double check the reference over here. All right. Any questions about importing from different databases? All right, no. So now it's time for the fun stuff, which is making your life a lot easier. All right, if you cl click on tools up here in RefWorks. Ah, actually, before we get to that, uh, there's one other interesting thing RefWorks does, and that is sharing folders. So you can actually make a folder for a project. 
and then share it with uh, anyone else that has rec groups. So if a bunch of you are all working on a paper and trying to get your literature review together, you can just all work in the same folder and get everything in one place. And that's uh, under here in sharing. You just want to click share a folder. And then you can either invite specific people or you could say anybody in PECOM uh, can join the folder. All right, now let's go to tools. Okay, so there's three different tools over here. Uh, first one is save references on the web. This lets you add a little bookmarklet to your bookmark bar in uh, whatever browser. And that'll let you, whenever you see like a web, when you're on a website um, and you want to save that site, that citation, even if you're on Amazon looking at a book and you want to save that, you could just click Save to RefWorks. The next two things are for Microsoft Word and Google Docs. Now, this is a little confusing because there are actually two different plugins for Microsoft Word. The first one is, um, is Write in Sight. And to get that, you just go over here to Tools, and then you click Download and Install. So if you're on a Mac, uh, Write in Sight is not going to work very well um, with the most recent version of Word. So if you're on a Mac, what you want to do is um, if you go to the, uh, to the Word store, let me click on other Windows and Mac versions here. Mac. You have to install RefWorks directly into Microsoft Word via the Word store. It tells you how to do that here. And this is called RefWorks Citation Manager. Now they don't advertise this very well. And these two plugins are not actually compatible. So if you have a Mac, I definitely recommend you use Citation Manager this way. If you have a PC, you can choose either one, but just make sure that you pick one and stick with it. All right, so this is how you install it. Let me go back here. And the difference between Write in Sight and Citation Manager is that Citation Manager works a lot like the plugin for Google Docs, which I'm going to be showing you. And let me get back to that plugin. Does not want to get back to that plugin. All right, we'll do it the long way. So for Google Docs, you're going to be basically doing the same thing uh, as uh, those instructions, which is just you could go to, uh, to Google Docs add-ons and then install it. All right, so let me start with Write Insight, which is uh, the first version, Word version. All right. Let me get this off here. Okay, so it's not installed in this computer, so we have some PowerPoints here. Uh, as you can see, once you've installed this, uh, this add-on, there's gonna be a new tab in Microsoft Word that says RefWorks. Uh, the first thing it's gonna do is ask you to log in, which uh, just log in. And then you're going to have the options to insert citation, and you're going to have the options for, uh, for your bibliography. So I have a sentence here, and I want to enter a reference. So if I click on insert citation, first it's going to have the most recent citations I've used. And there's also an option to insert a new citation. I click that. 
and then it takes me to a list of all the citations I have. So here I have all my folders, and up here you can actually search for something. This is where I recommend using folders because it's easier to find what you're looking for. And you just click whatever citation uh, goes there. You can actually technically add a new reference in here, but you'll probably want to do it on the main page. All right, select your reference. And now it has, uh, since it's in AMA style, it has the little uh, superscript number here. Now what you have to do the first time you add a reference is click insert bibliography. And then it puts the bibliography in there. Uh, now you could just go up to the style. If you use the wrong style, you could just go up and change it right here. Uh, then click reapply output style. And then everything will just, uh, it will just change to the new style that you want. You can do it as many times as you want. All right. Next, if you want to enter an earlier reference, all you have to do is just go to the sentence, add the reference, and you can see that they're renumbered. So that's one of the most annoying things to do when you're writing a paper is trying to keep all the numbers in order. But this will do it for you. Uh, again, you can switch everything around as much as you want. And you never have to worry that, oh, I put in a citation earlier. Does that mean I have to renumber everything? Nope. It'll change the, uh, it'll change the reference numbers and, and the bibliography. And it will do the same thing with styles where everything's in alphabetical order, like APA style. So, so if you just put it before one, then it'll that's then it'll automatically just change the order. Yeah. On the word. All right. And this works pretty similarly on Google Docs and uh, and the micro and the citation manager, which goes in Microsoft Word. So Google Docs, I have an open document here. I just want to go to Add-ons and ProQuest RefWorks and then click Manage Citations. All right, and I'm already logged in over here. Uh, basically, the main difference, again, is that it's just going to be uh, over on the side instead of on the top. So let's put in a reference. This is a reference. And stick in this one. And this time it automatically has the, uh, the citation nest down here. And once again, <coughs> all right, looks like I clicked in the wrong place, but you get the idea. It puts it, um, in the proper order once again. If you go over here to the gear, that's how you'll change the citation style. So let me try APA. And then it puts it in the proper style and you could just change it back. The one thing you have to worry about when you're changing styles <coughs> is uh, figure out where the reference goes. For example, in AMA style, you're gonna have the number after the period. For APA style, you would have the in-text citation before the period. So that you do have to look out for yourself, but it's a lot easier than having to go through and change literally everything. All right, so that's the basics of how to use RecWorks. Uh, do you guys have any questions? All right. There's actually one thing I'm going to go over really quickly while I have a captive audience. Uh, who here has an ORCID ID? All right. You are all going to have one <laughs> for the end of this day. So I'm going to Google ORCID ID. What ORCID ID is, is that it's a persistent identifier uh, for researchers. So if you're doing research and your name is John Smith, 
If you search for John Smith in a database, you are going to get a lot of people, a lot of other John Smiths, and your papers are all going to be mixed up with that. However, if you have an ORCID ID, then you can just search for this specific ID, and then you find only the papers that you yourself wrote. It's really easy to make. Uh, you can make it like add a lot of stuff to the page and have it as an actual um, as an actual nice place to just list your works. But all you really need to do is just spend five minutes uh, fill in this form, and then you'll have a um, and then you'll just have a number that you could use to identify yourselves. And some journals uh, even are starting to require ORCID IDs. So it's a really good idea to just have one uh, before your papers start getting mixed up. And it is so simple and easy to do, and it looks great on your resume. All right, let me actually search for PCOM. All right, and uh, that are some, those are some very interesting results. Let me click on the one that looks like a person, like a person. And as you can see, this one is really set up. It's basically a uh, online CV. You can include your employment, education, uh, Funding linked to your LinkedIn or to your actual publication. Or like I said, you could just have the ID number and use it uh, and use it if you're applying to um, you're submitting a paper or applying for a grant. All right, everybody here, you're going to be taking ID uh, ORCID ID handouts. And you guys in Georgia, just remember ORCID, O-R-C-I-D dot org. All right. Any questions about any of them? All right. Uh, if not, then thank you all for coming. Uh, feel free to send me an email. Jacqueline Can you go Lee. over attaching um, the articles to the references? Yes. All right, let me do that. Okay, here in reference. Uh, I'm going to click this article up here and then click edit the selected document. If you scroll down, let me remember, there it is. Uh, there's an attachments field and you can add the attachment. So just grab, uh, pretend this is the PDF, click open, and then it will be attached uh, and you could uh, you could basically grab it from RecWorks, wherever you log in. And then you, what you could also do is add a upload document, and it will also be attached. Anything else? What about that link, that PCOM full text? Isn't that the one that... Ah, yes. So, this PCOM full text link uh, will actually try to take you through uh, through the PCOM uh, network and find the full text for you. So if you don't want to save the article, you can just uh, click PCOM full text and then I'll tell you, do we have access to it? In this case, we don't. So it tells you how to request it through its library phone. Let me find one that we do have access to. Should yep, so here it takes you, um, it takes you to the journal itself. Sometimes it'll take you directly to the article if you're lucky. But it can be easier to use than like searching through, uh, going somewhere else to search in Scopus or PubMed. So it's a good first start if you just need to find the article again. You can also technically search if you click 
Let me remember where to click that. Ah, search databases here on the left. If you click that, you can search within PubMed right from Breathworks. So let's click on that. Spell that correctly. There we go. So you can just uh, find an article, say that title looks good, and stick it in a folder. And then just click, uh, just click import here or the folder to t say uh, where you want to save it. So it's less, there's a lot less uh, you could do to narrow things down than you can in PubMed itself. But this is great, like, if you remember, if you have the author and the title and you just want to grab the reference, then you could just uh, stick that in here and import it directly without even having to search PubMed. All right, anything else? All right, thank you very much. Uh, feel free to email me, Jacqueline Wee, J-A-C-L-Y-N-W-E, at PCOM if you have any questions about this, or uh, library at pcom.edu, which is easier to remember. All right, thank you all. I'm going to try to turn off this recording. <laughs> Handouts right by the sign-in sheet. If you guys yes. want them, we'll grab one. Wait, did you, do you guys have a? Did you guys? Ah, yeah. uh, well, I don't write it. I have. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, okay. That's a good idea. It's like a social security number. I will. I will make that. <laughs> Thank you.